it's Amanda, and we are back with day 13 of 30 inks, 30 days. Here's our beautiful ink combination. Oops, sorry, I just hit the thing. As you can see, that shimmer is a pool in the middle of the sheen, in the middle of the ink. And here's what our spots look like. Ooh. Very nice. Can you see it? It's still really subtle in the text. I imagine they use the same blue shimmer that they used in Jack Frost, so I'm not surprised, but um, yeah. We did have a little, um, it's starting to bleed through where um, some of the big spots were, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and flip our page. Today's gonna be an experiment. Um, I've had the ink that we're going to use in this pen, and you can see it's like all gunky. Um, I've had this ink in this pen. I've used it a little bit, but I haven't used it like a whole ton. Um, but I've had it in this pen basically since for like a year. I'm, I must have used it. I must have used it at some point because there's not as much ink as there has been. Either that or the seal has failed and it's evaporated out. But um, yeah, so we're going to do an experiment. This ink has been in this pen since January 2020. Um, it's an ink that I you can't get anymore, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I have this little, I have it in, oh yeah, it's right here, okay. Um, th these are just samples that I've swatched that are still like, I don't know, in a bin for sorting. It's um, Nemesine Coal Sack Nebula. Um, there's a favorite ink on my channel, well, not on my channel, but in my life, but I have a dear friend who was not quite yet a dear friend at this moment who um, enjoyed this ink, loves it way more than I do, and I wasn't using it, and you can't get it anymore, and I decided to um, send it to them because I wasn't using it, and I knew that they would love it, and that was the beginning of a very dear-to-me friendship, so... Um, yeah, so I, before I sent the bottle off, I filled the pen and kept an ink sample and yeah, we're going to play with it. Um, the experiment being, however, I haven't really used this pen. This is a Twisby Eco. Um, I have a broad nib on this pen, I think. Yeah, I have a broad nib on this pen and, um, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm shaking it up because I know that there's like shimmer in these like teeth here. I'm just kind of shaking. I don't see a ton of shimmer in the feed, which is interesting to me. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna see if this pen even starts up because it's been it's been kept in my pen case for you know it lived in a drawer for a while and then it lived in my pen case. So I do have the sample here, so we will be able to do some splattage. But um, yeah, so we're gonna see if this this is the big experiment. We're gonna see if this pen makes me a liar because I've been talking about how Twisbees are so good with shimmer inks and how they seal so good and da da da. da. Um, we're gonna see if this ink cooperates. Ooh, it does. It started right up. It's a little dry. You can see it's like kind of getting going, but hey, it started right up. So yeah, this pen has basically been in a drawer or in a case for the last year without having been touched. So yeah, awesome. Okay, April. Oh, and I do have the card here. It's kind of like a purpley, it's a purpley color with silver shimmer. It seems to be fairly reminiscent, oh, I didn't get the card, um, of um, another ink that um, has been seen on this channel before. Um, a Birmingham ink, which is not surprising because the owner of Nemesine is the uh, brother of the owner of Birmingham, and uh, Nemesine decided to close their business and help focus on uh, Bir uh, help put focus on Birmingham pens, um, which is um, his brother's business. So, um, Colesack Nebula seems to be the closest to. Um, cranberry twinkle. They're not exactly, but the base color is kind of like a purpley color. This is a little lighter and a little more pinky maybe, um, but yeah, it's very pretty. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I wasn't using it though. I'm still not using it, so I mean obviously, so I'm um, sending that off. Plus, you know, plus 
sending it off has resulted into, like I said, one of my dearest friendships. So um, I am very happy with all of my decisions related to uh, sending this ink off. So as you can see though, it's literally <laughs> nothing but shimmer. I think it's just because it's been sitting like that this whole time. Um, yeah, so we'll see if we can get any ink, any ink to show up. Day 13. Not gonna lie, the pen does seem like it's writing fairly dry, and you can see I'm getting kind of like some nib creep or crud oops, on the very tip of the nib. I'm sure, if I wipe that off, it'll be just fine. But yep, um, but it's writing just fine. Um, when I have left a pen with the shimmer ink sit for a long time, it does tend to start out with intense shimmer. But as you can see, as we've like gone on, the shimmer, while it's still um, pretty intense, has um, kind of, I wouldn't say it's calmed down, but you can see the ink behind it a little bit. So. So very neat. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and shake up our sample and we will do some splattage. This will um, probably result in some serious splattage. Let's see what we can do. Well, not that you can see the text anymore. It's still drying, but um, you could see like quick, the shimmer is not as intense as it was up here. So, awesome. So we'll let that dry. And I wrote down a bunch of random facts. So we're gonna pick a few that sound um, interesting. Oops, I can zoom out a little bit, oops. Well, let's do our top section while we figure out what we want to do. I think they called it Coal Sack Nebula and it was a twinkle, kind of like uh, Birmingham calls it. It was like ink was in capital because, I don't know, because it's cute. This is the transparent blue. That's a broad nib. Um, yeah, that's all I need to write. Okay, cool. Um, Kinda cool, somewhat local information. Ooh, Mr. P. Um, 18, 70. What are you hopping at, buddy?
kind of cool. I'm gonna see if I can fit uh, two more because I don't. I just want both of them. 1911. And the last fact is another um, local fact that I think is kind of hysterical because I'm a kind of fan of this team. Um, Rules committees never let you have any fun. Um, yeah, I had a couple of others. Some other facts that I didn't write down. In 1957, Saturday postal delivery in the U.S. was halted due to lack of funds. Like, that's a thing that we could have experienced. I think they threatened it, but it didn't happen. At least not yet. Um, also, in 1933, the first flight over Mount Everest happened. And then um, in 1977, Pittsburgh Penguins' Mario Lemieux played his last NHL game. So those are fun facts I did not write down, but um, think are interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to see how splats do on this paper, and then we will uh, go about our day. So let's go ahead and straighten up and see what we've got going on here. So tons of shimmer. Definitely tons of shimmer, but you can read, the, you know, especially when it's at an off angle, like obviously if the light's hitting it, it's a little, it's a little, um, reflective, but yeah, very cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and look quickly at this, see if it's dry. Still drying some of these those last spots, but um, yeah, like I said, if the light hits it, it's really hard to read, but you can actually read it, like, if the light's not directly on it, it is legible, so um, yeah, so those spots are pretty cool and those will look really neat tomorrow when they're all dry. So, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a fun experiment. So yeah, so you can leave a shimmer ink in a Twisby. Well, I know you could do it for a year or for two years with a Diamine Shimmer Tastic, but I know the ink or the shimmer in these Nemesine inks or subsequently the Birmingham inks are is a lot chunkier. Or it seems like there's a lot more of it. Maybe it's not chunkier, but it seems like there's a lot more of it. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to see. So I'm happy to know that um, I can leave this ink in this pen for a year and it'll still, for over a year, and it'll still work just fine. So yeah, so as long as it's in a Twisby Eco, <laughs> that's the only pen that I've really experienced. Well, that's not true. I was going to say that's the only pen I've experimented with that in, but that's not true because I permanently keep a shimmer ink in a 580 as well. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you again tomorrow with another shimmer ink. Take care. Um, first of all, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you take care, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.